The IDEX Colishore test simultaneously detects both total coliforms and E. coli with a distinct magenta color. Colishore is an excellent option for samples that have an innate yellow background color because the sample color changes to magenta for total coliform positives. The Colishore test is available in a 100 milliliter format and has a read window of 24 to 48 hours. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to use the 100 ml Colishore test for presence absence detection and for quantification using the Quantitray system. In this demonstration, you'll learn how to use the Colishore test for the presence absence detection of total coliforms and E. coli. You will need the Colishore reagent, a sterile, transparent, non fluorescing 100 ml vessel, a temperature controlled incubator, and a 6 watt, 365 nanometer UV lamp. Allow the sample to come to room temperature. Separate one Colishore pack from its strip, taking care not to accidentally open the other packs. Snap open the reagent pack and pour the powder into a 100 ml water sample. Cap the vessel and shake to dissolve the Colishore powder. The sample will turn yellow as the reagent dissolves. Incubate for 24 hours at 35 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade, or according to your local regulations. After 24 hours of incubation, if the sample is magenta, it is positive for total coliforms. If the sample is magenta, determine E. coli results by shining an ultraviolet lamp on the sample in a dark environment, shining the light away from your eyes. Keep the light within 5 inches of the vessel. If the sample fluoresces, it is positive for E. coli. If there is no fluorescence, the sample is negative for E. coli. Next, you'll learn how to use the Colishore test with the Quantitray system to determine the number of coliforms and E. coli in a water sample. IDEX offers two sizes of Quantitray. Both work with the Quantitray sealer. The standard Quantitray is a disposable 51-well tray that provides counts up to 200 per 100 ml sample without dilutions. The Quantitray 2000 is a disposable 97-well tray that provides counts up to 2,419 per 100 ml sample without dilutions. In addition to the materials used for presence absence detection, for quantification you will need a Quantitray or Quantitray 2000, Quantitray rubber inserts, a Quantitray sealer, IDEX anti-foam solution, and the included most probable number table or the IDEX automated MPN generator program found at IDEX.com. All of these items are included in the Quantitray system and are available from IDEX. Turn on the sealer and then wait until a green bar appears on the display. The sealer has now reached operating temperature. Add the Colishore powder to a 100 ml sample. Add five drops of IDEX anti-foam solution. Cap the vessel and shake thoroughly. Allow the sample to rest for at least one minute and then shake thoroughly again to make sure no large media particles remain. Use only a permanent felt tip marker to label the Quantitray. Adhesive labels may adhere to the sealer roller and ballpoint pens may puncture the paper. Hold the Quantitray at the top with the well side facing your palm. Push the top edge of the Quantitray in with your free hand while squeezing the tray into a circle. Open the Quantitray by gently pulling the foil tab away from the plastic side. Be careful not to tear the tab. Do not touch the inside of the tray. Pour the sample mixture into the Quantitray, avoiding contact with a foil tab. Place the filled Quantitray on the rubber insert, making sure each well fits its corresponding hole. Push the insert with tray into the sealer until the sealer grabs the tray and pulls it into the slot. If you need to reverse the motor, press and hold the reverse button. However, do not reverse the motor if the rubber insert is completely inside the sealer. The sealer distributes the sample mixture into the Quantitray wells, seals the wells, and partially ejects the sealed tray. Remove the rubber insert and tray from the sealer. Incubate the sealed tray for 24 hours at 35 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade, or according to your local regulations. After incubation, mark each red or magenta well with a permanent marker, including the large overflow well. To determine the number of total coliforms, count the red or magenta positive wells and then refer to the MPN table included with the Quantitrays. The most probable number of total coliforms for this example is 12.4 per 100 ml. If using Quantitray 2000, count the overflow well as a large well. To determine the number of E. coli, view the Quantitray with a UV lamp in a dark environment, shining the light away from your eyes. Keep the light within 5 inches of the tray. 
Mark each fluorescent well with a permanent marker. Count the fluorescent wells and then refer to the corresponding positive well line on the MPN table. The most probable number of E. coli for this example is 3.1 per 100 ml. If you're unsure whether a result is positive, incubate the sample up to 48 hours total to allow the color and or the fluorescence to intensify. IDEX recommends that you run a quality control procedure for each lot of Colashore tests. You'll find the quality control procedure in the Colashore product insert. Remember, incubate samples for 24 hours or up to 48 hours for added convenience. Yellow or gold means the sample is negative for total coliforms and E. coli. Red or magenta means the sample is positive for total coliforms. Red or magenta plus fluorescence means the sample is positive for E. coli. Please follow these testing guidelines. Store tests at 2 to 25 degrees centigrade. Use only sterile, non-buffered, oxidant-free water for dilutions. Because this procedure may not reflect your local regulations, for compliance testing, be sure to follow all local regulatory procedures. Remember these tips. If excess foaming occurs, use IDEX anti-foam solution or IDEX anti-foam vessels. For quantification, always use anti-foam. After shaking to dissolve the reagent, let the sample stand for at least one minute and then shake thoroughly again to make sure that no large media particles remain. If the sample is pink or orange, incubate longer, up to 48 hours maximum. A sample that remains pink or orange at 48 hours is negative for coliforms and E. coli. Always follow aseptic technique when using the Colashore test and dispose of all samples and materials in accordance with local regulatory guidelines. If you have questions or need more information, call the IDEX Water Microbiology Experts at the number on your screen.